right four. And left two. You're looking at the first ever gameplay footage of Sebastian Loeb Rally Evo, a new racing sim in development for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, right and four. PC. And left five. It's developed right. by Italian studio Milestone, which is targeting full 1080p visuals for the game across all three systems. Here you can see the snowy Sweden race course, which is one of eight different rally locations, which together offer 64 tracks in total. Much like with many racing sims of its kind, Rally Evo tries to faithfully represent the sport in terms of looks and physics. The game build you're looking at is a result of one year of development, and it was described to us as pre-alpha. Some of the imperfections you might spot, such as the draw distance bugs, should be fixed by the time the game ships. Milestone is hoping to release Rally Evo by autumn 2015. That doesn't give the studio much time to build and polish the game, but Milestone nevertheless promises 300 kilometers of track to race on, with each different location offering several possible weather effects and lighting conditions based on the season and time of day. But how will this game stand out in a crowded market? Well, Milestone is betting the farm on Sebastian Loeb himself, who is a legend in the world of rally right now, having won pretty much everything the sport has on offer. He's the rally equivalent of Michael Schumacher, or LeBron James, Lionel Messi, Bruce Lee, John Cena, you get the idea. Lerb offers his face and voice to the game and is also a playable character. This version you're seeing is running on the PlayStation 4, which, much like the Xbox One edition, renders at 30 frames per second. Milestone said locking the console build to 30 frames per second offered far more stability than attempting 60 and allowed the studio to focus on other graphical factors. Car damage modeling and online gameplay features are also in development, though this will be revealed at a later date. For more details on Rally Evo in the future, stay tuned to GameSpot.